All right, guys, next DC motor is the shunt DC motor. We just covered the series, so we might as well cover the parallel. Shunt is just another name for parallel. So that winding is going to be in parallel with our armature. Each of these motors always has the armature. The armature is the inside electromagnet that spins once we apply current to the brushes. And the brush leads are always labeled A1 and A2. I'm going to take those leads and bring them down. I'm going to connect them up to my source. I'm going to arbitrarily choose a positive here and a negative here to match with the previous diagram for the series motor. Okay, so that's our inside magnet. Now we need our, in, our outside magnet. So our outside magnet is the shunt. And the labels on the shunt are F1 and F2. And that's it. That's our parallel DC motor or shunt DC motor. Now let's do a little diagram below of the actual windings. So we've got the windings here that go around our field poles. So we've got one field pole over here, another field pole over on the other side. And we, when we put current to our windings, it's going to magnetize these steel poles here. So I've got the shunt now, and the shunt is going to have a lot of turns on this guy now. It's going to come over, get wound in the same direction with the exact same number of turns on the other side, and then come out for us to hook up. The labels on the shunt are F1 and F2. Okay, and then on the inside we've got our armature. What's going on? drunk here hang on that's a little better okay so the armature has all their outside conductors and each of those conductors is then connected up to the commutator again the commutator is a bunch of copper bars that allows us to get current to flow on those conductors and sitting on that commutator are the brushes and the brushes then go connect up to uh, our other leads, other leads being uh, A1 and A2. Excellent. Now if we just look at the diagram above, we've got the positive on the left hand side. So I'm going to put a positive here. I'm going to put a negative here. A positive looks like it goes into both F1 and A1. So this is going to connect up to here. And it's also going to connect up to... F1. What's going on with my lines today? Okay. And then we're going to connect up the negative side to A2 and F2. Beautiful. That's it. Positive to F1, positive to A1, positive to F1, positive to A1, negative to A2, negative to F2, negative to F2, negative to A2, and we are done. Once we get current flowing on the shunt, that's going to create uh, a magnetic field. It'll give us the same magnetic field on the other side. Doesn't look like the same magnetic field, but if I draw these guys in, then you can see we have a north here and a south here, a north here and a south here. These guys on the outside are redundant, so only the magnetic field on the inside that determines our direction of rotation. When that same current flows on the armature, it's going to create a north pole and a south pole on the armature. And you can see here that we're going to have a repulsion between these two poles and an attraction between these guys. A repulsion between these two and an attraction between these two. So it looks like the way that I've drawn this, we're going to get a clockwise rotation on the motor. All right, guys, let's go to the shop and see how it works once we hook it up. Okay, so let's do the, the shunt motor. So the shunt is, we have the positive, and I'm gonna go positive to the shunt, being F1. I'm gonna go negative to my F2. And then from there, I'm going to jump her up to my armature. So the armature is in parallel. Shunt essentially means parallel. So I'm gonna do a parallel connection between the armature and the shunt winding. Okay, so my F1 and A1 are at the same potential. 
and my A2 and F2 are at the same potential as well. Let's turn this guy on and see how it sounds. Sounds good. It sounds totally different than the series one. This one's got really good speed regulation. And you can see that it essentially stays at the same speed. It doesn't take off like the series motor did before. 